bit of a walk around now from the outside of the car. Let's just give it a quick look. I mean, with the dark color, it'll show up stone chips or anything. So if you see a few little chips at the front, that's to be expected. I uh, haven't seen any corrosion anywhere. Um, these are aluminium, but they are prone to corrosion in different places. And I haven't seen anywhere. Unfortunately, the flies are in the fields because there's slurry being spread. So if you see any little flies on it, they're optional. You don't have to take those. Tiny little dent there, like a push dent from a trolley dent. Paint works good. You can see my lovely reflection from my knees. Look up up. Yeah. The wheels are in lovely order. I mean, they were refurbished. Um, I think it's just at the start of ownership for the current owner. There's a couple of little marks on them, obviously. I mean, they're not new. Yeah, the paint works lovely. A little bit of cloudiness there at the top of the headlights, but they'll polish up. It's nothing. Gorgeous looking motor and the number plate as well. A little scuff, little tiny shallow dent there. As I said, you're not seeing any of the, normally in the wings, different parts, you would see corrosion. There's none of that. It's a lovely order down the passenger side. Tires are matched pairs, Ventus handcooks on the rear and um, Mohawks in the front. And as you can see, a little bit of corrosion in, uh, from, from parking and different things on the wheels. A corrosion, a little bit of um, scuffing on the wheels. It's a polish. It's in very, very good order. And I mean, the plate comes with it as well, which is such a bonus. Because everybody loves to have a bit of a private plate with their cars. I do anyway. Most people do. An X. J, it looks like a G. It could be an XJ6. And the current owner could take that off and just put on a, a age related plate, but it's including that. And it's worth near enough 500 pounds to the right person, maybe a bit more to someone else. Gorgeous inside here. I know we've done a little bit of a video on it already, so. I need to pop everything open so you can have a nose eh? Lovely rear heated seats as well. And I mean the sovereign spec just gives you all of that. Beautiful. I mean you wouldn't think this car's what's that now? 2006, so 16 years old. The interior is just in fantastic order. Let me see. But then you've got carpet mats as well, and that makes all the difference too. In gorgeous order. I mean, look at the seats for goodness sake, piped and everything. And it's proper leather. It's not pleather or plastic or whatever else you want to call it. Uh, being the sovereign. It's that top spec model, so it's the luxury top spec. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, just noticing there's a little bit of movement in the headline and at the back, but not so much that it would bother you. Okay guys, so I'm just going to have a bit of a fiddle here with the bits and pieces inside the X350. Key goes in and it moves the seat and the steering wheel, which is electric steering column into one of a three position memory place and they all work and let's see we'll turn it on there we go so we'll have the nav of heated seats which are three position three temperature okay driver and front passenger and then we'll have rear heated seats as well which are just down the back here as I pointed out electronic parking brake and that does work so 
that comes off when you put it into gear. And then put the vehicle back into park. And as you see, it comes on. So off, on manually. The heated front windscreen, heated rear windscreen, and the climate control, the air conditioning. Let's see, turn it on, I suppose. And it isn't really the day for seeing how cold it can go. That's quite good. That automatically came on there, so that's the air recirculation, which is something I've only found out recently when they say about your climate or your air conditioning. If you put the air recirculation button on, or in this instance it came on by itself, it is cooler air, so it'll cool down quickly. You're not trying to draw in hot air from the outside and cool it down, which will take longer. So, Jaguar clock as well. Multifunction steering wheel. So, Bluetooth, I would presume, yeah. So it has no phone hooked up at the minute. Um, and yeah, that's getting cold and I'm not prepared to let it go any colder because I'm too cold <laughs> So yeah, you have Bluetooth also, which is excellent I'm gonna turn the climate control off turn the air con off. That's it So you can hear me you have cruise control buttons which again is on the multifunction steering wheel Which is half wood and leather. It's a classy thing too Auto wipers with the electric windows, the mirrors fold. Okay, and the sunroof, let's see. So it slides and automatically it has the the cover, which is a manual cover, but it goes back and then it should tilt. Oh. Yeah, so you've tilt and or slide and as you can see it all works which is excellent parking sensors front and rear because we've seen the sensors and we heard the beep beep beeps and the electric seats work and the leather is very comfortable and gets warm I haven't tried the, the stereo system it's an Alpine system so it's the upgraded stereo um, Classic FM's maybe not the one that you need to be listening to, but we're not going to go to anything much more bumpier than that. Radio 2. So we're not really going to hear anything great here at the minute. And no, it'll go on to YouTube and it'll tell us we can't have it. Um, so, but you know, I'll collate this all together. What a classy car. It's a big unit for a 3 litre V6. But look how clean it is. And you have the insulation still underneath here. I mean, again, that's just another indication of how well the car's been looked after. And everything looks in order. I mean, it's clean without looking like it's been cleaned, if that makes sense. There's still bits of grease, there's still bits of dust and dirt. You know, you can see where there's been water spilt, you can see where there's been dust gathering. But, so it hasn't been tarted up for selling. There's the washer. Lovely. Let's go around and see the back. We'll put the bonnet down. I think that made the difference. And we've put remote boot release on the remote too. One of the batteries appears to be flat in the other key. You can see with two remote keys. Yep, two remote keys. One battery seems to be a little bit flat. It does work, but just isn't doing everything. So, again, clean without having been cleaned. This is the condition of the car. The warning triangle. And with this one, we have a full size alloy. An 18 inch full size alloy and Pirelli tire. Good. I mean, it just pretty looks like it's been used. Uh, proper Jaguar Land Rover battery. Excellent. And the tools. 
and that's our sat nav and the compact disc player. I'm not leaving this in a particularly tidy state. There we go, I am now. Lovely condition. Lovely condition through that. Right, close these doors now. Chase the flies. Guiding this at five to seven thousand. So it's done 119,000 miles. It's done 12 service stamps. I think it was three or four previous owners. We'll check that to confirm. It'll be on the paperwork. The V5 and everything's here for you. I mean, the car's ready to go. You can buy it in the day and go away in it. Seals on the 29th. Here's the thing. Yes, is there cheaper cars? Yes, there are. There's cheaper X350s on the market. And anybody can come in and say, oh, I can buy a 2006 diesel X350 or perhaps a really scruffy three liter V6 Sovereign for four grand. Well, maybe you can. We have a gold one inside here that's gonna be going up and it's not really scruffy but it's done 142,000 miles and it's gold with a cream interior. It doesn't look like this car. It doesn't have the private plate. It hasn't got the overall condition and cared for feeling that you get when you get into this car or look around it, even walking around it. You'll see from this video exactly what I mean. And what price do you pay for that? You know, you can buy the four grand car. Of course you can. You can say, well, this car's going to do five to seven. No chance. Who do they think they are? They're going to get extra money over what I paid for mine. Okay. But your car at four grand and this car at five to seven is two different things. So if you want a sorted car that you're going to be able to get into and enjoy, remember our suspension goes wrong. Electrics go wrong. This is sorted. This drives beautifully, it idles beautifully, the paint works in really, really good condition. There isn't aluminium corrosion on it. You don't need to spend money on tires or on brakes or on recanalizing the interior or on uh, engine management issues with an engine management light or air suspension with an air suspension. You know, start to add these amounts up and whoever gets it is going to have one hell of a car. Thanks very much, folks. Cheers now. Hi, guys. So if you'll indulge me a little minute, I'm inside of the X350 Sovereign. And we'll go through and have a little fiddle with all the bits and pieces. So key in. Seat's taking me into the memory position. So it's not suitable for me, but basically there's three position memory, as you can see. And you could imagine doing long distances very, very comfortably in this. Just take her around again and park her. You know, no problem. It would just be so comfortable. You would arrive there feeling very relaxed. Loads of space in the boot. I mean, there's five of us. Okay, the dog couldn't come, but quite easily I could see us as a family of five traveling comfortably in this with a boot full of luggage and me or my wife Dawn as the drivers and arriving comfortable. The kids haven't had space, not killing each other because they're on top of each other with no space to breathe. So I think that's the video today of the X350 and I'm sure you'll agree when we collate it together, it's one hell of a car for the money. And you're getting a modern classic with all of the conveniences of a modern vehicle that you would drive daily. But 
with the heritage and character of an older car. It's so quiet. And the Jaguar history that comes with it. Just stunning. Just making sure I'm parking here nicely. Thank you very much, folks. Take care.